You have probably seen videos of huge water slide parties where everyone is having a good time jumping into the lake. Today we found something similar. It is going to be a lot of fun to try to do diving tricks of a giant water slide. Plus we got a special challenge, but at first we have to build it up and we really don't know what to expect. Watch the video until the end to find out how far this monster slide can push our poor bodies. All stunts are performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. This video is intended for informational purposes only. Don't try anything without a professional advisory. Hey water crew, my name is Jim and I'm a cliff diver. So today we are going to make one of the biggest water slides out of the ski ramp. And a very special challenge of the day is that I have to do a ski backflip into the lake. And I have to achieve that from the very first try. To be honest, I have never tried skiing in my life. So that can be really tough. I'm a snowboarder actually. At first we have to put some materials together to cover up the slide because it has a hairbrush lining. You definitely cannot slide off that just it is right now. However, you can ski off it. My friends also said if I don't do it from the very first try, I have to pay the bill in the bar after today's challenge. Knowing how much these guys can drink, I really wish the best for myself. Anyway, I'm so scared that maybe it's better to give my money and chill instead of taking that huge risk. Okay. Let's fly! So we are about to find out if a snowboarder can do a ski backflip from the water slide from the very first try. Just for you to know, I had to ask my friends which ski goes on which foot. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm lucky that one of my friends here is a pro skier, so he gave me a couple of advices on what to do. Honestly, guys, I'm terrified. Jumping off platforms is fine, but jumping off a huge slide wearing skis for the first time is a bit too crazy. You can say that I chickened out and you will be completely right. I couldn't even get to the end of the slide without falling. You won't see all the 30 attempts it took me to finally go to the jump. Before you see my ski backflip, let's check what the regular sliding would look like. Heads up, we made a big mistake not getting the right cover for the slide to actually slide off it. It took us nearly 5 hours to put 2 layers of covers on the slide. Finally, when the ball went down and flew into the lake, we were ready to try it out by ourselves. We got a gallon of hand soap and ironically enough, it is called help. Help! <laughs> We'll see how much help we need to do a fly of the slide. Ok guys, it is time to find out if the effort we put into making the slide worth it. I'm scared I'm going to fly off way too far and smack on my back. In reality, I didn't get enough speed because the covering wasn't slippery enough. We also got too much water sitting at the end of the slide, which slowed me down a lot. I also felt the slowdown somewhere in the middle of the slide. Maybe that was because of that uh, brushy cover? I guess I'm gonna use all the remaining help salt for my second try. While I'm getting all soap, you finally get to watch my first ever ski backflip. My friend Ilya volunteered to do the ski dive first, just because he is out of his mind, a true cliff diver. <laughs> what can I say? Did you guys see that? Ilya went for the front flip and as you can see, he didn't succeed in it at all. Good thing he didn't injure it, but the bad thing is that his fail didn't give me much confidence for my dive. Ilya also lost one of his keys in the water and we had to go fishing for that. And I've actually found it before Ilya did, but I didn't tell him about it until he was really upset. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. The speed you get while skiing is crazy. I'm really scared that I'm going to fall and scratch my entire face. But challenge is a challenge and I have to go for it. And I did it! I cannot explain what it feels like, guys. I was so scared skiing down the slide, but once I was in the air, I just went for gainer and it was so easy. Once I'm in the air, I'm in full control of my body, even wearing these huge wood sticks. Everybody on the land couldn't believe it was my first ski jump ever. But now it's time for my final soap water slide jump and hope I won't reach the sky this time. 
Well, water crew, I used all the soap we had and this is my last chance to actually slide off this thing into the lake. Let's do it! I feel more like a seal than like a pro athlete, guys. This is a huge fail considering how much time we spent on putting everything together. Anyways, it was a lot of fun, no regrets. Comment below what we could have done differently to actually start sliding, please. I really want to fly somehow. Okay, water crew, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment below what you would like to see next. Don't try anything you saw in this video. Better watch some other episodes. And please take care and don't repeat crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Bye!